Except now I lost my Koopa shell. Maybe I can use that guy up there. Um, getting him is a whole nother question. Actually, that's a good idea. It's a good idea. That's why it was put there, probably. Um. <laughs> question is, how do we jump off this frickin' springboard? Off a little teeny wee little pixel. Here we go. Let's get this Koopa up here. Thank you for putting this Koopa here. Whether that's intentional or not, Rahmat Creator, I really don't care. But I'm using him. Unfortunately, um... Surviving this whole endeavor is a whole nother problem. Too many chompers in my way! Okay, grab it. Come on, Mario. Grab it! Up on the ledge! You can do this! Such a little space to run around in! Not good for claustrophobic people! <laughs> Literally, I can't get any closer to these stupid jumpers. And I'm running low on time now. Well, you have a hundred seconds, I think you can do this. Um... Could that have shell landed in a more conspicuous place, please? And by that I mean one more pixel to the right so I can grab the stupid thing. It's like playing regular golf compared to mini golf. You know, regular golf, you actually have to, you know, be good at swinging the club instead of just putting. Oh my gosh! I already got it! Um, fudge, fudge, fudge. Didn't want to do that, technically. Alright, I need to carry two items and I need to get that mushroom and. Oh my gosh! Music going fast, not good for a heartbeat. <laughs> um, carrying two items sucks, but I know it's possible in the Mario Engine to pick up two items at once. That'd be really nice now, you know, without squishing me. <laughs> Alright, so I gotta get these over here and get the mushroom over there. Exactly. <laughs> and of course, you know, you can't just stand there and pick up the shell. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I just really want to be able to run into these two items and be able to pick them both up at the same time. Okay, come on Mario, pick them both up. Pick them both up! Darn it, they're not the correct distance apart. Alright, try it again. No! Pick them both up! Mash! Into them! Ah! At least the shell's kickable. But I still need to get my mushroom. And keep this shell with me the whole entire way. You know, you could just carry them one at a time. I know, but it's not as convenient. You know, crap like that. I still have to navigate stupid chomper mazes! And music going fast, trying to remind me of the little time I have left till poor Mario has an aneurysm. Hey, wait, that shell reappeared. Why didn't I know that shell would stupidly reappear? <laughs> oh, cool. My space time. or space time stopped. That's what that is. This is space time stopping. How many people can do this? Um, do you remember your frame advance button? Yeah, no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Alright, so now that we know another shell appears, we don't have to worry about carrying two items. Thank the lord. Instead I just have to worry about my spring- WHY DID THAT REAPPEAR?! Are you kidding me?! 
Ah! My goodness. <sighs> Instant waste. Now I think this might be still possible somehow. If I can get this springboard down here, unfortunately that shell is still going to be an issue. Gosh darn it, big Mario, why did this one block have to reappear? One stupid block out of all of them. Like, the other blocks could have reappeared just fine. Have you ever thought about doing this? No, you're trapped inside. What the? Wall jump! <laughs> Ah! Can't get back up after doing that. Ah! Gosh darn it! So much easier if I didn't need the mushroom. Then I could just try to get these two things over here. Up oh, there. The only problem is I still need to get that mushroom, you know. Oh yeah. But see, if you put the items here, they shouldn't disappear while you go get the mushroom. The problem is coming back! Still can't come back when I'm small! And the chompers, of course, on the ceiling. Alright. Here we go. As to whether the springboard disappears or not, I don't think it does, so I could safely bring this all the way to the right without too much repercussion. The shell, of course, disappears, and of course that one block is still there, and I can't get up. Such a disappointment. I am disappointed! Gotta go fast, gotta go fast, gotta go fast right now, gotta go fast, gotta go fast, gotta go fast! I go fast! Move! Faster! Mario! Pick up shell. Must fit in hole. Mario, your ass is too big right now. Which is ironic, because I need your ass to be big right now. Must fit in tiny hole. <laughs> I just did it! Oh my gosh, I just did it! That would be nice if I could just, you know, take the hit there, but I need to take the hit later. Gosh darn it! Fudge! You know a moment where it's like you got the glorious fork, the triumphant fork, and now I'm hitting it consistently, but I'm still running to the stupid chompers! Music! Here we go! Ah! Stuck, 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 stuck. Whatever. Open! Ah! Go in! Ah! There we go! If I need that shell... Urgh. Go, 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 Mario! Go, 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 go! Thank God, nothing in the way! Yes! Woo! Um, okay. Sanity back. The power of the switch you have pushed will turn dashed into solid. Your progress will also be saved. And the glorious blocks from the triple threat level go across the land. That was a claustro fudge! I don't know any other way to describe it. That was just so much packed into a small, tiny area. Such a... Um... Next time on Let's Play Enigmatic Mario, we'll be going on the level called Shrooms and Cheese, which is probably, you know, just a little... 
minor adjustment on the words Mushrooms and Yoshis. Matter of fact, since I've been, you know, looking at the very beginning of these levels, I might as well just look at the very beginning of this level, just to see what kind of nightmare I have to deal with. <laughs> Fudge! The level kills you immediately! That! Next time on Let's Play Enigmatic Mario. Thank <laughs> you.